Okay, hey YouTube. This weekend was much less eventful than last weekend. Um, there were no dates this weekend. It was really just me kind of um, staying in, catching up uh, on some sleep, and um, relaxing, going for a couple of runs. And then today, after I went for a run this morning, went and laid out by the pool, probably a little bit too long. Um, because I'm pretty <laughs> pretty pink um, all over my back um, elsewhere things like that um, definitely was out in the sun way too long um, even with sunscreen I was out there for like three hours which is probably <laughs> at least one hour too much probably closer to two hours too much um, for somebody with as fair a complexion as I have so that'll be fun to deal with the rest of this week. Um, and then after the pool, I went inside, took a shower, and um, went over to the mall to have something to eat and um, go see a movie. And so when I was eating in the food court, some guy invited himself to sit down at my table with me. Um, even when I tried to be pretty clear that I wasn't interested in a guest. Um, but he sat down and started talking anyway and said, you know, he's 25 and I said I was old enough to not want to answer that question. Then he asked if I worked and I said that I did and he told me he was unemployed. So I was like, well, that's a, um, you know, great selling point. Um, he was a little bit sort of socially awkward because I think he was just kept on trying to start a conversation somehow and was not picking up on the fact that I wasn't really interested in a conversation with him. Um, I was kind of hoping just to eat my food, maybe fart around on my phone, and then go see the movie. But um, apparently, I'm not entitled to my own personal space out at the mall in public. Um, and so he kept on talking, and then eventually he said... Um, you know, I'm straight, uh, you know, what about you, and, like, do you have a, a boyfriend, or, um, can I get your number, and I said that I was okay, um, that I was talking to somebody at the time, and, uh, he's like, well, we don't have to date right now, like, we could maybe date later, or something like that, and I said, no, thank you, um, and then eventually he said, well, you know, I was, I was born a guy, what about you? And I was like, um, what kind of question is that? And he goes, oh, well, um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, uh, to offend you. And then I was like, well, okay, well, I'm done with this conversation. I was done with my dinner at that point. I got up and he goes, can I have your number? And I just say, no, like very directly because apparently he couldn't understand otherwise. Um, so I'm not sure if I was clocked or not. Um, maybe, uh, probably, if he asked that question. I don't know. I, I don't think it really matters. Um, the kind of clocking that I get these days is sort of along those lines where you're not entirely sure. Like when I went to Starbucks several months ago in the morning, no makeup, anything like that on. Um, very early in the morning so my voice is not very good I ask for a drink and the barista writes down Daniel instead of Danielle um so <laughs> those are the kinds of um clockings that happen these days I guess um I don't think it's uh they're completely avoidable um but I'm all pink and probably in need of some rest now from too much sun and um so yeah <laughs> that's that's today's update